Hello everyone, uh, Joel Clark here, creator of Lone Wolfist. And I actually get to say that because this is like we're really, really close to it being done. Uh, this is day three of my three day writing binge. I actually took time explicitly off work. First of all, to, to get myself some time from work, you gotta take breaks every once in a while. And second of all, to see how close I could bring the game to being complete. My editors caught up with me, caught up with me on Monday, and I got a bunch of stuff from him. So the first four chapters are now not only done in terms of writing, but also in editing. That leaves our three chapters remaining. The Armory, the Bestiary, and the Lores. So I spent a lot of time brainstorming and thinking about what I wanted those things to do and how I wanted them to manifest in the game and looking at what I'd already written and like rebalancing them. Army was pretty much done. I just had to fill out the, the magic items and put in the part about players crafting items and then fill out the rest of the vehicles. And then that was done. So that was almost done already. Um, bestiary I needed to revisit. I, I like the work I did on it last time I was working on it about a year ago at this point. But it needed it was creaking a little bit and it needed to get simplified and, and updated for usability. And um, changed a little bit with some of the innovations I put on the armor. Just, just little changes, nothing huge. And I did that, so that's done. So now the core writing that introduces those chapters and explains how to use them is completed. Um, so that just means it's just lists in both of those cases. The Loras chapter took a lot of brainstorming. Um, I, I, as you know, use Yoon Soon, or use Yoon Soon as a, a reference point for how a lore chapter should look. Um, bunches of lists that kind of breed a bunch of interesting setting appropriate circumstances. So in making mine, I also realized that I had a whole GM chapter which described in detail how I expected prep to get done for this game and how you would use that prep in the game to pace it. All really important stuff, but the Yoon Soon stuff that I basically just took out of Yoon Soon didn't mesh exactly with it. And so I spent um, about a day, uh, almost a day and a half, just like brainstorming, like, okay, how can I make sure that lures is something that is immediately usable in terms of making your own prep? Um, and that it took a while to brainstorm that. It actually was a pretty difficult, you know, a bunch of mental work that I did there. Eventually, I got it done, and I I figured out what elements I needed in the lures and how many I would need, and I started writing them. And the scope was ridiculous. Um, it was hundreds, if not thousands, of unique entries, and that's just. That's too much. Um, I'm only one guy, and I have like real limits on how much time I have and how much I can write in that time. So I had to. I do. I looked at all the stuff that I was doing for this, and I was like, "This is what is making this take so long. I need to scope this down so it is core book sized. This is ridiculous." So I I cut down the armory. So there's only going to be three vehicles per category. A uh, total of 15 vehicles, which is fine. Um, there's going to be about 35 magic items total. Most of them are weapons. About 20 of those are weapons. So again, scoped considerably downward. I was originally going to have about 10 per uh, faction. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to make them rarer than that. Um, even Weapons of the Gods didn't really have a considerably larger number than that. I think they had 50 total in their book. So this isn't really a game about magic weapons. Magic weapons are in it. But it's not a game about that. So it's it's been scoped downward. Uh, the armory's been scoped considerably. The lores got scoped enormously from the initial amount. Um, because I was writing Yun Soon again. Yun, Yun Soon, I was writing something bigger than Yun Soon. Yun Soon has, uh, I want to say, five distinct areas. It has like the Mountains of the Moon and um, the, the Plains, the Weird Grasshopper Men, and it's got the Yellow City and Topaz Isles. So, like, it's only got like five, I want to say five different places and a bestiary in it. It's really what that game is. And I was doing the bestiary as well as seven distinct places, as well as like this huge tome of martial arts and, and different magic and artifacts and this huge complex game uh, that has like the full GM, like the full DMG and all the stuff in the monster manual. Like I'm doing... I'm doing an easy $150 to $200 worth of role-playing game content in this little book I'm making. Um, and it's going to be a fat book, ultimately, but that's too fat. So there was a lot of scoping downward of this stuff. Uh, the benefit of this is that that means that the intros to these chapters are done and the design in them is done. 
So a lot of what I've been doing is just writing the entries and being like, okay, does this work when I'm reading it? Or is my idea that I initially had not really congruent with the way this is going to manifest in game? And again, that's that's altering it slightly. You, you find whenever you write for a game that your knowledge of how something is going to happen at a table really changes the character of how you write it. And if it doesn't, you're probably fucking it up. So try it at a table to develop your intuition and then go back and rewrite it way simpler. Um Honestly, looking at the project now, I've only got those lists to do, which is wonderful. I'm going to release all of those with this video, so, you know, you're welcome, my wonderful patrons. And I'm going to be releasing those to uh, Albert Lim, our editor, over the course of the next couple of weeks. I have another week off of work that I intentionally took to finish this project and kick it out the door. Talk to Vic about, like, doing all the stuff he has to do for layout and getting the art in there and all that. So, um... Late April is when I take that week off, and I'm hoping to really focus and, and finalize it then. So that's my, my current deadline uh, for that. Uh, again, I apologize for all the delays. I didn't know my divorce was going to get ugly. I didn't know that I was going to have to move to Alaska. I didn't, I didn't know I have to change careers several times and complete college and blah, 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 blah. I did not know those things when I did the Kickstarter, and it really threw a wrench in how much I was able to focus on this and how much I could actually get done on it, and I've, I've powered through some intense emotional malfunction, so and financial ruin and blah 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 blah. Thankfully, we are finally approaching the very very end of it, which is wonderful, and we will have this book on your shelves fairly shortly. So I just wanted to give you guys that update. Um, I'm going to post the three chapters I have, and then over the course of as much as I can get done today, I'm going to get done. I'm currently kind of like jumping between lores and uh, taking the old writing from the old lores chapters and putting it in the new format and um, and filling out the bestiary just like chunk by chunk uh, right now. And I'm, I'm also thinking about later on brainstorming the different artifacts um, and getting those all out on paper just so they're done. Uh, I don't know how much of that I can reasonably conclude today before I have to go back to work tomorrow. And I don't know how much time I'm going to have to work on it this weekend. I've got my kids. Um, but that's, that's the current trajectory of things. Anyway, um, geez, I didn't really have much else to say. I've, I've done a, a lot, a lot of thinking, um, over a bunch of different things, uh, lately. I think that I may do more than one of these videos just to kind of go through the chapters and like, well, here's my thinking on this. Here's my thinking on that. Cause I feel like each one deserves its own little 10 minute chunk. Um, but yeah, uh, get, get yourselves a taste of the lore chapter. This should be the Emerald Chiron are done, uh, so that should be perfectly usable. Uh, get yourself another 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 look at the bestiary chapter. And this is the newest version of the bestiary. It's looking pretty good so far. Um, it might get altered a little bit, uh, but not super far from its current form. It really does work very, very well right now. Uh, I actually simplified it even more from the last time, and it was already pretty simple, so I'm happy about that. Uh, the armory is unfortunately skinnier than it was going to be. Uh, I really, I would really have preferred it to be my initial size and scoping, but it's just too much. Uh, it's and someone on the forums on the, on the Discord made the point I forget who it was that it wasn't really super useful to have huge laundry lists of very samey entries. Um, they're not wrong. Some weird corner case stuff, like how a crane works, is kind of like an interesting thing to see the interpretation of that and the mechanics. But like, I don't think you need word of God for all that stuff. For the most part, the power and the the conflict and the damage, etc., rules are pretty comprehensive. So you can you can kind of model that stuff in a way that's reasonably believable. Um, so it's not really strictly necessary for me to do like giant armories and things like that for this game. And it also does leave room again for uh, future supplements to come in and, and like, you know, fill stuff up a little bit. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about with that is I don't want to for supplements to do things that should have been cleared up in the core book and to contradict each other. I hate when that happens. When you have like, here's one version of a fighter jet and here's a completely different version with significantly different stats. They're in different books. Which one is the real fighter jet? Like, uh, I'd really prefer to avoid that scenario. Um, I guess that's a minor quibble, you know, but still, it's something that irks me. Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> hopefully I'm able to fill these things out over the course of the next couple of weeks, and then all the interns will be done, and Albert will be done with them, and I can send the, pack these all off to Vic, give him money, and have him finalize the, uh, the layout. And if he does that, we should have a PDF within a month or so, which would be great. 
Uh, thanks everyone very much for coming with me on this weird journey, and I hope that you keep your fists clinched um, and have a good time with our crazy punch game. Take care.